Hello and welcome to the first Film Friday of 2023. In this week's edition, I want to talk about Teal Bunbury. He had a huge influence on the NYCFC win and deserves some praise. We're going to look into his influence in two parts. First, let's look at how Nashville used him in possession. When Nashville had the ball, they used Teal as their target for direct plays into the middle and final third. Teal played less as a traditional striker and more as a false nine. His positioning, height, and aerial ability helped Nashville secure the ball often. Even when he lost his aerial duels, the pressure he would put on a defender was often enough for Nashville to retain the ball. His ability to hold up the play and pass or dribble frustrated NYCFC and often caused him to be fouled. One of those fouls resulted in Nashville's first goal. And I love this play here specifically. He was targeted by Joe Willis from the goal kick. He holds up the play plays the pass to Shaq Moore, and then immediately makes a run and becomes available for a cross. This is proper and great center forward play. Here's another example where he receives the ball, gives it to Schaffelberg, who loses it, then they work together to get it back, then Bomberry draws the foul. This is an aforementioned play that gave Nashville the first goal, and it's also a great segue into the second part, which is how he was used when Nashville didn't have the ball. Teal was often part of an attacking pressing unit that was very cohesive and effective. We saw more of this in the first half, but it didn't completely stop in the second. His pace, intelligence, and chemistry with teammates helped suffocate New York in uncomfortable areas. He was involved in the build-up play by being available for a pass. Not only that, his positioning drew defenders towards him and allowed more space for the wingers to make their runs. His willingness to do the dirty work and allow others to shine is a true testament of his team-first mentality, and you can't find a lot of strikers willing to do that. Lastly, I just wanted to share this one last play. He creates pressure out of nothing and forces a possession change. Thank you for watching, and for sticking around, you get to see a video of Gary Smith whistling. Bit there, catches him on the blind side. That man there will be.